How come a planet doesn't have a wavy orbit like this? More precisely, how can we prove that the planet lies in a plane? The proof is a surprisingly easy application of calculus, physics, and vector algebra. Let's quickly talk about the main ideas we'll need from these subjects. Throughout, assume that the star is at the center of a 3D coordinate system. From calculus, the derivative is the rate of change with respect to time. The position of the planet at time t is a vector we'll call r of t. Then the planet's velocity is the vector r dot. That's the derivative of the planet's position vector. And the planet's acceleration is the vector r double dot. From physics, Newton's second law tells us that the force on an object is equal to its mass times acceleration. We'll assume the gravitational force that the star exerts on the planet is parallel to the planet's position. In other words, r and r double dot are parallel to each other. Finally, some vector algebra. The cross product of two vectors, a and b, yields a vector that's perpendicular to a and b. So r cross r dot is perpendicular to both r and r dot. And later, we'll need the fact that the cross product of parallel vectors is the zero vector. Here's our planet and our star with its position, velocity, and cross product. Notice that the position r and velocity r dot lie in the plane and r cross r dot is a normal vector for that plane. You see that that normal vector shows us the tilt of this plane. We're going to show that this tilt actually doesn't change. That means the orbit's not wavy. The orbit lies in the same plane with r and r dot. Recall if a quantity does not change, that means its derivative is zero. Thus, the tilt does not change if and only if the derivative of the cross product of r and r dot is the zero vector. Now the derivative of r cross r dot is computed via the product rule. Here's what the product rule looks like. Now the derivative of r is r dot, and the derivative of r dot is r double dot. r dot's parallel to r dot, that's zero, and r and r double dot are parallel. Thus, we get that this computation yields zero. Thus, r cross r dot, in other words, the tilt, does not change direction. So our orbit doesn't look like this. It has to look something a little bit more like this. In other words, it lies in a plane. <laughs>